Federal cuts are leading to bottlenecks in the court system and delaying cases. If we learn the cutbacks could end up costing you, the taxpayer, more in the long run. NBC2's Matt Wright explains why. Doors locked and phones ringing off the hook. Every other Friday, justice slows down. They have been devastating. Public defenders appointed to represent those charged with federal crimes are facing double the sequester cuts of most other departments. That's resulted in local offices closing every other Friday and fewer employees. What's happening now is it is uh, causing delays. The cut in workdays and staff means the sometimes slow grinding wheels of justice are even slower. The federal court system can only hear emergency matters on furlough low days, the impact reverberates throughout the system. If you've got a multi-week trial, you know, you're now expanding that into months, which causes not only undue delay in the court system, but a hardship on jurors. While the federal sequester is meant to save taxpayers money, these cuts could actually cost taxpayers more. I think we will be severely limited as to how many cases we can take. Despite the trimmed down defender's office, defendants are still guaranteed an attorney. That means the government will have to use more taxpayer dollars for private attorneys to represent the accused. The private attorney charges far more. With the office facing even steeper cuts next year, another third of its staff is already on notice they could lose their jobs. I think they're all, everybody is looking at their options at this point. Leaving many wondering if there is any light at the end of the tunnel. Matt Wright, NBC2.